The Triumphs, Trials and Tribulations of 14 Blind People from Different Walks of Life was the subject of a book that was launched at the Arlensar Foundation headquarters in Overport recently. The book titled A Passion for Success was compiled by Dr. Silver Mudley, who is one of the 14 blind authors of the book. Each writer penned one of the chapters of the motivational body of work. The book is the brainchild of Mudley, who is a renowned academic with four English language textbooks and two novels under his belt. He said the book, the idea of which came to him during the 20th 2020 lockdown will now benefit many others as the proceeds will go towards the creation of a fund in aid of blind and partially sighted people. Provide a fund that will enable blind and partially sighted people, in fact people with disabilities in general, to fulfill their ambitions, aspirations and things like that. So when you're contributing this morning, when you're buying a book, remember it's going towards an empowerment fund. Finally, I want to say that empowerment involves far more than funding. We need to support the empowerment of blind and partially sighted people, firstly through quality education, then through appropriate skills development, and lastly through relevant, accelerated, meaningful employment. We can all do it. As Helen Keller once said, I am only one. But still, I am one. I cannot do everything, but still, I can do something. And I won't refuse to do that something I can do. Another contributor to the book, Safura Khan, said the human experience is something that should be documented and that stories of people living with disabilities are worthy to be told. The things that we do and, and, and the way we can contribute to life, to living, to humanity as a whole, and if you document this, this will help inspire other people and motivate other people to move on. No matter what happens, we are all, uh, you know, they talk about human relations. And as human beings, we need to relate to each other. And how do we do that? Through writing, through verbal communication. But as, as this MC said, Ikra means to read. And when you read, you gain knowledge. And that knowledge you can take with you and share with everybody else. And that is what is so important. Be safe and remember to vaccinate. This news broadcast was brought to you by the Rising Sun Overport Digital Team.